Hey guys, welcome back to sunny South Florida. I'm here walking around my neighborhood and this is a video I've been wanting to do for a little while now. When I started planting uh, tropical fruit trees, I started uh, getting familiar with what they look like. And as I drive and walk around South Florida, I start realizing, wow, a lot of people have tropical fruit trees in their backyards, which is really awesome. The trees here are pretty much dominated by mangoes. Mango trees are everywhere. Once you know what they look like, you'll start seeing them really everywhere, especially now. It's the middle of February and the mango flowering season is well underway. And if you just look around, you'll just start seeing uh, mango trees in full bloom everywhere, which is really cool. Other common trees around here, uh, bananas and papayas. There's a whole lot of those. A lot of avocado trees. Um, and then some people have some other random tropical exotic trees, which is pretty cool. I just start, you know, finding them on my walks and drives around. I love doing, seeing what's growing in my neighborhood. So yeah, this whole walk is going to be about half a mile from my house. I'll go down a couple different streets and I'll also go down um, over to my HOA park where there's actually fruit trees for HOA that I pick uh, some mangoes from, which is pretty cool. Um, all right, so without further ado, let's uh, see what's growing on in my neighborhood. All right. So we'll start here where there's a beautiful mango tree right outside this house. This is in full bloom. Last year, this tree had a ton of mangoes on it. I don't know the variety, but really beautiful tree, nice and round. Here across the street, this house has a bunch of fruit trees. Here in front is a, I guess it's a dwarf banana tree. There's a bunch of bananas hanging off there. Uh, another small banana tree there. And then here on the other side of the sidewalk is an avocado tree that is actually in bloom right now. A lot of little flowers there. And then here around the corner, this house has a whole bunch of papaya trees, full of papayas. Look at all those. Then over here, we got two huge mango trees. This one in the back is just full of flowers. And then down the street here, this house has a lot of fruit trees. This here is actually a, a star fruit tree in the front. I took this video a couple months ago, actually, when it was full of fruit, but now they're all gone. There's some, some papaya trees and banana trees in back there. And then here's another mango tree. Looks like only half of it's flowering right now. Back over there is actually a big loquat tree. And then here, right in front of this house, is a mulberry tree. And this is loaded right now with mulberries. Look at those. Tons of mulberries on those. And across the street, you got another loquat tree. There, you can see actually the loquats. Those will be ready soon. A whole bunch of fruit on there. Nice big tree. And then that's actually right next to a big mango tree. And then back to this house with the mulberry tree. This is actually a guava tree that I've seen sometimes during the years full of guavas. And then this is a, a mango tree. It's not blooming right now, but I'm pretty sure this is an Irwin with beautiful purple mangoes. And then right across the street is yet another mango tree that's in bloom. And then the next house over has another mango tree. Really beautiful mango tree there. That one is flowering really nicely. Look at all those flowers. That's going to make for a lot of mangoes this summer. And then this is actually the only citrus tree I know of in our neighborhood. Not exactly sure what these are. Some kind of large oranges. Maybe grapefruits, but I'm pretty sure those are big oranges. This house actually has a whole bunch of soursop trees. Um, this here, I think it's a Namdak Mai mango tree. Although you could correct me if I'm wrong. And then these are uh, more soursops. 
And then they actually have another soursop tree behind their fence around the corner, which uh, I have a picture of from last year. There's a nice soursop hanging off there. Got another small avocado tree this house just planted. More mangoes. Now I'm walking around uh, to the other side of my neighborhood where my park is. Here's a giant avocado tree. It's full of avocados in the fall. Large green Florida variety. Then right over here is another starfruit tree that I got some video of a couple months ago when it was full of starfruits. And here's a giant mango tree. Only the top there is blooming. Over the past few years, this has made some really nice crops of uh, dark purple fruit. Maybe it's some kind of Irwin also or something similar. And now, as we get into my park, we'll see what's growing on around this area. Now, some of these trees are gonna be public to my HOA, which are clearly um, on the side of the path near the water. And then some will also just be in backyards of houses that uh, live on the lake. This house has a whole bunch of jackfruit trees there. You can see a few jackfruits hanging off there. This is uh, what I believe is a public mango tree. I actually picked a bunch last year. Um, they were really good. And there's the same tree just from across the lake, another view. Now this tree is one of the best mangoes I've ever had. I've been picking them for the past few years. Large, juicy, fiberless mangoes. Um, have a nice tartness. I, I would compare them most to like Kent's, although they do ripen in June, so I don't think they're Kent's, but um, really, really good mangoes. There's a uh, picture of some of them. If you have any idea what those might be, let me know. There's another view of that tree. Big, beautiful tree. Makes great mangoes. And then this is actually what I think is a turpentine. This is always full of mangoes. Uh, they're little, tons of fiber, mostly pit, classic turpentine mangoes, not really uh, eating quality. There's another mango tree back there on that house, full of flowers. That house actually has some papayas back there too. I think maybe another mango tree there, yeah. Here's yet another mango tree. It's only that left side is flowering. Full of flowers on the left side. Uh, there's some actually coming out now on the right side. They'll actually be nice. They'll have two, two crops like a few weeks or a month apart. There's another mango tree completely full of flowers. It's really nice. And it looks like someone planted another small mango tree right there in the front of the fence. Mango trees are everywhere. Hey, hey duck. Hi, duck. Here's an avocado tree. They actually just uh, cut off the whole top of it. But this tree is typically full of avocados in the fall. Looks like they're uh, harvesting some coconuts up there too. Then over here is a public loquat tree. This is actually the tree I had my first ever loquat from. Really nice fruit. And these actually are almost ready to pick. Look at these. Not quite ready right now, but really soon. It's really cool how uh, whoever Whoever designed this HOA park really knew their fruit trees and planted all these fruit trees in the park. Lucky me. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is a uh, dragon fruit vine climbing up this palm tree. Again, this is just public HOA area. 
Not sure who did that. Check out this guy. And we got iguanas all over. Little one and a big one. Here are actually two avocado trees that I'm pretty sure are public. Um, they're definitely avocado trees, but I've actually never seen them holding fruit. So, not sure what that's about. And then back there is a really big, really nice looking sapodilla tree. There's a sapodilla. All that stuff hanging are, are pine needles from this pine tree. Got another fruit there. Oh, and it looks like a squirrel got a sapodilla too. Yep. You let them ripen on the tree, the animals will get them. There's some more fruit up there. If anyone knows what kind of variety this is, let me know. Fruit are small and round. Giant tree. Look at that. Nice, really big tree. And then going back around, got some more mango. This one, it looks like they pruned and it actually didn't flower. It's putting out uh, vegetative flush, probably because of the pruning. It was a heavy prune they did. No flowers on that, all just new leaves. And then here's another mango tree. So if you like this video, I'll do another one in a couple months when all these mango trees should be full of mangoes. You could see how they've come along. All right, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching.